Hey, what is going on guys? Demboys back here with another episode of Demboys Tech. Now, if you are lucky enough to get a PS5 and you want to test out remote play on an Apple iPad, stick around because I'm going to show you how. Now, some things you'll need for this. The PS remote play app, a PS4 controller, because at the time of making this, there is currently no support for a PS5 controller with the Apple iPad. It just doesn't connect, so maybe in the future, Apple may release a firmware update that includes the PS5 Bluetooth connectivity. But for right now, it looks like the PS5 controller doesn't have any support on the iPad. And finally, you need a PS5. So to start, turn on your PS5. Then connect your PS4 controller to your iPad by going into your Bluetooth setting and then on the PS4 controller, hold the PlayStation Home and Share button at the same time. Your PS4 controller light bar should start blinking like this. That means it's in its pairing mode and then it will pop up in the Bluetooth settings in the Apple iPad and just press connect. Next, open up the PS Remote Play app on your iPad and then it should ask you to sign in and then your PlayStation should appear on there and just click connect depending on your Wi-Fi and how far you are from your router and your PS5 your quality may differ now my PS5 is connected through an Ethernet cable so the connection there should be stable your connection from your PS5 to your iPad depends on where you are and how good your Wi-Fi is. Now even though you're playing PS5 games with your PS4 controller, it still pretty much works the same, but obviously the DualSense capabilities will be left out. So here we're playing Spider-Man Miles Morales and everything is working as it should be, but as you can see there is some artifacting, a noticeable lag. Sometimes that is dependent on your distance from your PS5. Uh, we're sitting in the kitchen island and the PS5 is upstairs in my office. So again, it may be different depending on where you are. I've noticed in games that require fast reflexes and have fast motion, they don't particularly perform well through remote play in your PS5. But for something like an RPG in a laid back game, I think it's better. So a couple nights ago, I was playing Persona 5 through remote play and it was just working fine because... You don't need a fast reaction time and those games are pretty laid back and aren't particularly fast. Now here, uh, we're playing Resident Evil 8 demo, Maiden, and it's a slower paced game, not too much movement, and you don't have to have fast reaction times. So this is a perfect game to play with remote play and on your iPad. So that was it guys, um, this is how you play PlayStation 5 games on your iPad using PS Remote Play. If you guys like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and share, and hit that bell notification for updates. And also, I'll be getting a join button soon so you guys can join and become a member, but I'll explain that in another video. But for right now, we out.